Hi there, my name is Olga de Vega and this will be my eyebrow wax video. I want to begin by saying that I love waxing because it's immediate results. You make people feel good about themselves internally and externally, especially when you're working on their face, which is what we're going to do in a minute with the eyebrows. And um, your hair and your skin texture improves drastically on your face and on your body. So it's, it's definitely something that is worth doing um, and worth getting done. So for this video, I will be using my Star Soft Wax. This wax is incredible. I rave about it all the time. It's a hypoallergenic wax. It has no colorant, no fragrances. It's so gentle on the skin. Um, I've waxed people that have super, super delicate skin and they've been amazed. It's really incredible. Um, I'm going to show you a close up of the items and the steps that I will be using, um, the products I'll be using and why I'll be using them. And then from there on, we'll jump right into the video. For this video, I will be using my Hard Wax Star Soft. I keep it at 75. I like it a little bit on the warmer side and I'll explain why in the video. These are my steps and my material that I will be using. So <clears throat> to begin this video, I obviously will have my gloves on. I do cleanse the skin first of any dirt, natural oils, or makeup. And then I prep the skin with just a tiny bit of pre-oil. You don't wanna leave the skin oily, so go ahead and buff it in, whether it's on the other side of this um, cotton swab or maybe like a small tissue or paper towel. Okay, and then you jump into your wax strips, which I'll be doing with the, um, the small tongue depressors. I do a lot of brushing throughout my service. You will see me using this handy dandy little mascara wand um, and I will be trimming throughout the service as well, beginning and end. I'll tweeze hairs that are necessary towards the end. And then I complete it with aloe vera gel on a cotton swab. I also have witch hazel, but in this case, my guest is not a fan of witch hazel, which we will opt out of that and use a little bit of aloe vera gel. Um, my guest does not want a makeup application, which is something I offer with my eyebrow services, but I will be using a Morphe Clear Brow Gel for the final look, and that is about it. I do a lot of brushing of the brows. Um, in this case, I am starting off by brushing them up and trimming them. That is my first and foremost step in an eyebrow wax service. I then go ahead and brush the eyebrows down. I want to make sure that none of the hairs that were brushed up get caught up in the wax for the top strip. As you can see, I didn't do any brow mapping on my guest. It's something I usually do, but I didn't do it in this case because my guest had a deviated septum surgery not so long ago. And if I take measurements based on the base and the width of his nose, I will be taken off too much. So you have to use your expertise and insight to judge how much is going to come off. I always keep the wax warmer when I'm working on the eyebrows because you pick up just the right amount of wax on your stick and it allows for a smoother and more detailed wax application. And what I will be jumping into now is reverse strips. I know, reverse strips on the brow. This is something that I have always done. I've always said to myself, well, if I can do it on the body, I can do it on the face. And let me tell you, it makes such a huge difference when you remove those small, fine hairs from the brow. I sometimes do it on the bottom, but I for sure always do it on the top. I don't usually apply so much wax underneath the brow, but my ring light was in the way and I just had to make it work. I 
I don't do more than two strips underneath the brow because we're working with a super sensitive area. But in this case, for my second strips, I'm not doing a full wax application underneath. I'm just laying them where I need it. And this is my final wax strip application, which would be considered a cleanup strip. My fan is not a guest of Witch Hazel, so in this case, I'm applying aloe vera gel. It's a tad bit of a thicker consistency, so it's okay to put on before or after you tweeze. In this case, I put it before, which is totally fine because as I'm tweezing, the product is being absorbed by his skin. My eyebrow wax service always includes temporary makeup application, but you can always opt out of that and just substitute it with clear brow gel. And that completes my eyebrow wax video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this opportunity. And I hope that you picked up some tips and tricks um, in this video and that it was helpful. Thank you.